Okay, here's what I have so far for Sprint 1. Um, collisions between the mushrooms and the, and the bullet. Collisions between the blaster and the mushrooms. Um, as you can see, all the mushrooms are on a grid. Um, the moving the or colliding with the mushrooms. Um, I wasn't really sure how to stop it from moving through it, so I just made it keep a previous position um, and update it back to that anytime it collides. Uh, I have all the movement controls in here, so one of the next things I need to do is uh, create a separate input manager like we were discussing in class. Um, I keep uh, a set shot flag function so that um, when I make a bullet, uh, I call that function and flip the flag so that it can't shoot again. And then in the bullet here, um, anytime I call mark for destroy, I use a, a pointer I keep in the bullet to um, uh, to flip the flag back and let it be true again so it gets called when it collides with things or when it goes off screen. Um, mushroom is pretty simple. It's just a object that's there made out of the mushroom. Uh, the collision with the bullet brings its health down. Um, when its health is gone, gets destroyed. Uh, sprite updates. Uh, the mushroom grid itself is uh, just a 2D array of mushroom pointers that here I'm giving it a random chance of whether or not it spawns, it sends it through a loop. Uh, it only gets called on uh, instantiation, but yeah, it's a 2D array of mushroom pointers. Um, 32 by 32. I tried not making it a game object, um, but Teal didn't like that. Uh, when the draw and update would get called, the, the the game would crash. So, came back and made it a game object, gave it empty draw and update functions, and now it runs fine. Um, so yeah, all I need left to do is uh, uh, for sprint one is to make uh, an input manager for the blaster instead of keeping it all in here. And then uh, that'll be about it.